Hey, this is Flo, and this is the introduction to the new video series that I'm launching right now. And in this series, we will actually look at the widget kit. I will teach you about the very basics, intermediate stuff, and then how you can actually implement and use it in practice. And we will do that by building on top of the stocks app that we made in last month's 30 day app challenge from Code with Chris. So I'm using that as a base. So if you want to get a head start, then I would suggest you to watch that series first. Um, I think it's eight videos, so it shouldn't take too long. And then um, this series will, in this series, we will create a widget. We will add a widget extension, set up a custom configuration. We will, uh, I will tell you about the structure of all of the pre-generated code because Xcode actually generates a lot of code for you already when adding a widget extension to your project. I will then, um, we will then separate all of that code, make it a bit cleaner and finally work on our own custom widget, which will, for example, also use some files that are already in the app target, and we will add them to the widget extension as well. This is just a very quick overview of all of the topics that we're going to cover in this series. If you are excited for the series, then please hit a thumbs up, um, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next episode.